Hello guys, this is Dak13, and in this video I want to show you two awesome tweaks and how to get them. So, the first thing you want to do is open up Studio. Then you want to go to Manage, and then go to Sources, then hit Edit, and then hit Add. And this source will be in the description to the right of this video, or the info box, so it's over there. So just type that source in right here, and then touch Add Source. So basically, I'm guessing most of you already have this source. It's http colon dash dash repo dot iphone dot com slash. So you want to add that source. Then you want to go to search. Go up in the search bar. And search Infini. Basically all you need to search. Just search Infini. So the first tweak we're going to install is Infini Board. So touch it from the Be Your iPhone source and hit install then confirm. So it's a fairly small tweak so it should not take too long to download. Then hit Restart Springboard. Okay, so before going into further detail with um, this tweak, we're going to install the other tweak. So reopen in Cydia. And this tweak is from the same source. So just add that one source, which is in the description or the info box, add it and both tweaks will be there. So then once again go to search, go up in the search bar and search Infini. Spelled it wrong. Then hit search and now scroll down and there it is from be your iPhone called InfiniDoc. Hit install and confirm. Then hit Restart Springboard. Alright, so I'll first I'll show you InfiniBoard. So as you can see, it looks regular. Scroll sideways. So now we're going to take an app. Put it over here. So you may think no more icons can fit on the screen. Well, really, it can. So take another icon. Put it there. Now see that? So basically, if you try to put another icon here, it won't put it on the next page. So I'll do it with this. So now you think that the icon went to the right, but really, it's just down there. So basically what InfiniBoard lets you do is instead of just scrolling horizontally, you can also scroll vertically. Which I think is very cool. And you can also change the settings of it if you open up settings, scroll down, go to Infinity Board, and you can change all the settings. You can 
remove vertical scrolling. So I'll go to scrolling bounce. I'll do enabled. And you can change a few other things. So now basically has the bounce. So when I scroll down and up, it bounces. So I'm going to put both all those applications back. So I think that's a really very cool tweak. So now let's move on to the next tweak called InfiniDock. So right there. There is the dock. So now as you can see, it doesn't look different at all. So take an icon, drag it down there. So now, see, one thing, I like 5-icon dock and 6-icon dock, but I don't like how it makes it look overly crowded. So as you can see, I just put that um, iFile in, and the other icon disappeared. So I'll show you. I'll put another icon in. As you can see, the other one disappeared. Basically, what it does is it keeps it so all the icons don't look all squished together. Basically, you can scroll on your dock, just like you do on regular pages. So as you can see, I have all my dock icons just by scrolling right here, which I think is very cool. You can scroll like that. So any, if you have more than four important icons, or if your iPod Touch, well, I mean, if you have more than just four important applications that you want to have in your dock, you have just if you have more than four, or even more than six, then Infinity Dock would be good for you because you can just scroll through your dock without changing pages if you have a whole bunch of pages. And also, just like InfiniBoard, you can open up settings and change the settings by going into InfiniDock. So you can also change the icons per page. So I can change it to 6. So it depends. So if you want it to look squished but less scrolling, then you can change it to that. You can even go to settings, and I'll try changing it to 10 just to show you all it looks extremely squished let's go to 10 so this is only if you have really really small icon theme but of course there aren't 10 icons so I guess I can't show you but basically yeah you can just change it and I'll also show you you can change it to 1 which looks kinda cool not really you just have all your one icons and also you can change any other of the settings for InfiniDock, as you can see here. But I'm just going to change this back to four because it looks the least crowded, and you can have more than four icons in your dock. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked these two tweaks and ended up using them, please rate five stars, leave a comment, and subscribe. Also, please subscribe to my second YouTube channel called App Store Corner. I'll put a link in the description to the right of this video or the info box. And also, please follow me on Twitter. Once again, thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.